Welcome to the Fearless Sellers, the Women of Amazon podcast. I'm Joey Roberts. You are in a competitive space and you found mm-hmm. your way to stand apart. And I want to ask you, and I touched on this at the beginning in the intro, about uh, you got recommended by Jessica Alba. Like, how cool is that? Yes. Yeah. That was like a pinch me moment. I think that happened somewhere in November. I think uh, it it happened on Good Morning America and then you know, that time difference. So I was sleeping uh, the morning I woke up and then, you know, already the sales were like, I ran out of inventory. I then everything, I don't know what's happening. Is something happened to my Amazon account. I got so scared. Asha Vivek, welcome to the Fearless Sellers, the Women of Amazon podcast. Your cookware brand has been recommended by Jessica Alba. Congrats on all your success building this brand. Hey, thank you so much for having me here. It's my pleasure to share my story. Yeah, thank you so much. And your photography is absolutely beautiful. Your reviews are glowing. And I just have to say, I'm so thrilled to have you on today. And we get to record this episode at Amazon's event in Seattle, Accelerate. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, happy to share my story. (laughs) Let's jump in. So your brand name is Ava Craft. What inspired you to start a cookware brand? Oh, that's an interesting story. So I love cooking for my family. So I had a lot of frustration with the uh, big brand cookwares, either the usability or the frustration with uh, the material or the customer service. So when I asked them, uh, when I used to question them about the material, because for me, my belief is the first ingredient to your food is your cookware. So when I asked that question, so I always got to hear the standard answer. Okay, we'll get back to you, but no one got back. The, this frustration was building up slowly. And then one day I told Vivek on wine uh, one day evening that why don't we design and manufacture our own brand, our own brand cookware? He said, okay, let's talk tomorrow morning. <laughs> let me see if it's a wine talking or you really, really want to. But right. next day morning we discussed again and then uh, he said, okay, we can we can give a try because we didn't have any background of manufacturing or all those uh, experiences. We both are engineers by profession. So, but we thought, okay, we can figure it out. You know, uh, our engineering minds will work it out. So that's when we started doing Evercraft. And then uh, we started with the smaller product just to test the market on our website. But uh, it, it would take a longer time to sell on the website. That's when we figured out about the Amazon. Yes, exactly. And that's why I absolutely love Amazon and Amazon's FBA program, especially yeah. because the shoppers are already there. Yeah. Uh, what year was this that you started even just um, thinking? Yeah, 2015, we formed a company, but uh, started selling really on Amazon was 2016. Uh last quarter of 2016 so yeah it's the the journey has been amazing after we started selling on amazon as a third party fba seller so i can focus on my design and manufacturing and the quality and the customer service logistic will be taken care of amazon that's a bigger part of any business that is yeah, logistics yeah. is big. So going back to the design and the conversation that you're having with your husband about, hey, we're going to make this better because you were having issues in your kitchen. Uh, I have to say, that's very forward thinking at the time you were starting, because right now, 2023 going into 2024, Amazon sellers are now all about innovation and putting yeah. their design first. So what was it? Tell me about that. Like how, what was your mindset and how did you come to terms with design and function functionality? So, uh, it, it's just a small, not small things. I would not, they super innovative ideas. You know, when you are cooking, you always think, for example, for the small 
small feature i would say it's a saucepan right so for me the first thing is the material what material goes in that so with our manufacturer we set the material we learn the metallurgy how everything works you know what metal works better on induction on or the all, all type of cooktops right so we learned all that and then we set the material the first is the material part and second is the small design usability like for the saucepan if i have a pour, pour spout on both the sides it will be so easy to uh, pour all the sauces or if the the water or or the coffee those things uh, for example yeah. in the frying pan so first we designed the frying pan it was really a flat bottom so if i put all the meat or the vegetable it used to splutter out so we had to raise the uh, the side part of the uh, uh, frying pan a little up so that it will not splutter out i mean the small design part of that uh, yeah it, it's like but but our all our customers they love it the small small design that i take care of those and then they um, also send me an email uh, why don't you do this why don't you do that so i study all that and then uh, i design and then i yeah and we launch those products so they're really happy Yeah, I think that's super cool cuz you're into cooking and then you thought, well, hey, if we just alter this like this mm-hmm. and it makes it slightly now you're making it sound simple and I know I'm an Amazon <laughs> seller. I know it's not that simple. It's not. It's not. I know. No, I cannot yeah, I know I, I, everyone asks me about my story when I tell that it looks simple. uh but it's not. It's like a lot of time, experiments and then you know, uh I I have like lot of products at home that i test now now it's like so many products at home so now i have started giving it to my friends so i ask them the feedback and inputs from them and then i correct it yeah you have your own little built in uh test group of people to yeah. test mhm that's true it's the beauty of selling it's like you can really test it how you want and interview people and make make improvements that's the best part of i find of being an Amazon seller as you can tap into your own community to pitch yeah. in and help you. Yeah, it's there and then the why behind Avacraft was really strong. Uh one is the uh well designed product with the with manufacturer who knows what goes in that uh pots and pans like a material wise. Uh so when customers ask me uh oh i left a pan on a high heat and it's giving a rainbow color and they get scared what happened no so it's obvious to happen because if you leave a empty pan on a high heat for a longer time it's going to give you but what the, what are the remedies for that right so they ask me question i am there in front of my screen or my team is there in front of my screen uh, in front of the screen just to answer within 5 minutes that's our uh customer service the time window so our mine and vivek's thing is that the customer the time they got off their computer screen we should be able to answer those questions so I, we we till now we do that and how do you do that like how do you navigate building that loyal customer base and having that that response are you outsourcing or how do you how do you build that so initially we used to do it um uh, in house like me uh, i i was uh, i used to answer all the question but now the customer base has increased so much so now we have created um um replica of me and vivek so they take care of uh, these things uh which d- we don't want to compromise on that uh so we have so over the time we have figured out the what are the questions they ask the and then we have prepared the answers and they answer it to them so if they have really different situations they they the employees come back to us and then we answer them so it used to happen through amazon and then we uh, on our website we have a chat box so we chat over there so we have all the chat thing on our phone so customers love it when you answer them within few minutes Yes, they do. And that's that is like the heart of selling. Being an Amazon seller and selling products in general is mm-hmm. is making your customers feel like you care and Amazon's built their business on that. I mean, Amazon's customer service was a game changer. Yeah. That's right. See, that's where that's what um 
motivated are us that that's our dream as well that the uh, they how they take care of their customers we want to do the same thing uh, to them so uh, i the shipping thing sometimes the shipping thing happens you know the carriers just throw the throw your boxes sometimes not all the time so the uh, if you pack your uh, products really in good way but they have some dent so they send me a picture and don't don't worry you need not return the product so i'm going to send you one more so how about that so in that customer service part as well they are really really happy about it so yeah and then they're loyal forever and so as you have new <laughs> products come out they're like oh yeah, yeah you guys were so nice to me yeah that's that. It's just, I think I would say that the customer service and the quality of the product, how you take care of your customer, uh, it's like a word of mouth. So uh, uh, some of um, some of my friends, I mean, it just happened last week that uh, they sent me a picture of Avacraft mixing bowl product from an Airbnb. They said that, look, I found Avacraft bowl in Airbnb. I said, oh, wow, that's amazing. And then one of my, uh, uh, my husband's nephew, he studies in UT Arlington. He's doing his master's there. And then he went to a birthday celebration and they found Avacraft knife there to cut the cake. Oh. And he sent me a picture, you know, that's, uh, that feeling is really uh, amazing. Yes. It is amazing. And I know that feeling. I've seen my products when I was out on a holiday weekend and actually a friend of mine elbowed me and she was like, hey, look at that. And (laughs) that feeling when you see your product and somebody else is using it and they have no idea it's yours, it just lights up your life. (laughs) That's true. That's true. So that gives me a, a, you know, satisfaction that whatever I am doing, I'm doing the right thing. So... It's a happy, happy day. Yeah. And for me as an Amazon seller, and even before I was selling on Amazon, my dad actually, when I was a little girl, taught me to keep your customers delighted with everything but the price. Mm Mm-hmm. So for you with cookware, immediately when I hear cookware and you went on this innovative journey to source from the best suppliers and make the world's best modifications with your cookware, I, I'm wondering about price. Like, How do you balance affordability with the quality and also to stay competitive? Yeah. So uh, yeah, price is a perception, I would say. Uh, uh Finding the right manufacturer was a really hard time for us. It took like six to eight months to find the right manufacturer to uh, adopt to our designs and then uh, grow with us. We were re- we were nothing when we started, right? It's not like we are a huge company, but we had a lot of video chat and then um, had to call and then some manufacturers just kept the phone. They didn't talk to us when we say that we are just starting. So it was really hard to find the right manufacturers to begin with who shared our dream. So right now we have like two, two to three, two manufacturers mainly, but we have one more, but two are the main people. We started then when beginning of our company, even they are growing with us. Uh, Now it's like a a 40 feet containers. They keep coming every month. So they're happy with that. So now they give a, we can negotiate on the price now over the years because we give a lot of, uh, initially it was hard. So, but now we can negotiate, renegotiate on the prices. So, uh, and uh, yeah, it was hard to find the right manufacturer, but I'm glad we found one. So that's how, uh, when I say that price is a perception, uh, because we really give a high quality product uh, with the, amazing customer service. So I think, you you know, that triangle, right? So there are like base of the triangle is uh, low priced customers and they they like to buy a low price products, but we play somewhere between the upper triangle and the mid triangle. So our prices are a little high, but not that high, Uh, but customers can still afford it. Yeah, I like that. And I like where you were talking about nurturing the relationship with the supplier and proving Mm -hmm. to them like, Hey, we're going to grow and you're going to grow with us and we're all going to win in this. Mm -hmm. So uh, initially I know that uh, we were just the 
really really beginning uh, the small business but we used to visit like once a year to our manufacturing site and talk to them and do the quality check and then we used to give our our quality tips how you need to do the quality check and then how do you need to pack and how careful you have to be in the packing so that returns will be less so i think that have built even the confidence in them that that they are coming to the site and they are talking to us so they are really serious growing their brand so yes i like that and how how do you keep the relationship so they they don't give your cookware ideas out to anybody else like did you patent it we don't have patent on that it's just a design patent we didn't want to spend a lot of money on that so as i told you before as well that we don't uh, focus much on our competitors because why behind evercraft brand is really strong providing the high quality and the customer service which we are managing till now so we want to grow that way yeah, it, it's I just totally building a loyal loyal customer base yeah exactly and it's 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 Amazon. There's room at the table for everybody to sell and you can stand behind your brand. And that is the beauty when you have your sales coming in and you know you're a good seller that you don't yeah. really have to worry about your competition. You focus on your customers in your brand. Yeah. But trademark, we have a trademark registration, um, uh, US uh, all over the world, except uh, yeah, everything in Europe market, US market, Canada, Mexico, we have uh, in India, we have trademark registered for Evercraft everywhere. So oh, very cool. Yeah, you got to protect <laughs> that. That makes sense. Yes. Um, we encourage everyone to get trademarked and Amazon's brand registry is phenomenal. So really anybody selling on Amazon should have a trademark. Yeah, it is because that comes with a lot of features, whatever they do a new uh, announcement like that. Today, I'm at ESS. They announced a lot of things, which uh, I, I attended last year as well. I used it. Amazing features, tools, services. And this year also, I'm looking forward to using all those tools. Yeah. I mean, that's a great point. Yeah. With the announcements that Amazon is announcing at the event, it is a true partnership with Amazon, right? And now they're going to have the it logistics is. and everything else. And, yeah. and so talking about that partnership and respect that you've had for Amazon over this journey, what milestones do you remember achieving with this partnership with Amazon? And I'm calling it a partnership because we're selling on their platform. So it really is a partnership. It is partnership. It's always win-win, right? They win when we win, when we will win when they provide us that platform. <laughs> exactly. Yes. We're blessed to be able to sell on Amazon. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. So milestone for me is that selling on Amazon, the beginning with the uh, Avacraft that I told you that I started on website. It's like you are a small fish in the whole ocean, right? So you have to have a deep pocket to do the ads and then drive traffic to your website. So when we were researching on that, is there any other platform that we can sell? That's when we stumbled upon uh, FBA, like a third party sellers. That's when we started using that platform and the journey from there has been amazing. Um, the second one I would say that, it, which I started using like uh, uh, two years back, during pandemic, I guess, people stayed home and they started cooking and then the sales were on to the roof. So we could not cope up with the uh, manufacturing, the inventory, uh, financially though. Uh, the Our partners were really, really good. They were ready to uh, work through the manufacturing thing, but the finance part that we were struggle, struggling with that. So I think Amazon lending came to our rescue and then it it went now also we use that uh it's been amazing uh yeah oh that's interesting tell me about that tell me about the amazon lending i haven't used them no i think it's a quick one uh i wa i wanted to go when i'm a I don't know whether e-commerce business, how uh, banks see the e-commerce businesses, because there is no collateral to give you a loan, right? It's al always, right. again, comes on your personal loan. So your personal uh, assets. So, but still you have to give everything, your personal assets, but still the loan amount is very less because they know that we are using it for the business. So 
it's not that high. I went by SBA route as well, uh, but a lot of paperwork and then a lot of things. I didn't have that much of time. So I just had like uh, three, four days that I have to make the payment and give the order. So uh, then I saw on my dashboard, Amazon lending. Then I just went applied. Three days, my money was in my bank account. That's amazing. What Another you want. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's what I like about it because they are, sorry, they're helping the small business grow. And they see that I'm growing. That's how they're giving me money. They're lending me money, right? So uh, I don't. I didn't want to. I, I could have gone through SBA route, but I didn't have that much of time because I otherwise I would lose the sales. I would. I I didn't want that. So I just took the Amazon lending. Yeah, it it worked out really well. It does work out well, and especially when you're running out of stock or you're out of inventory like I did during 2021 with supply and demand, that it does become yeah. a, a money problem. And any growing business has a cash yeah. flow problem. Yes. But yeah, that's 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 one of the things that they it, it helped me a lot. Um, and yeah, th and one more thing. So I have a third party... Um, warehouse uh, 3pl in california so which i use it but last year they announced about the awd that's amazon warehouse and distribution it's like mm -hmm. agl awd and fba right they're like three from your manufacturing site they pick it up what through agl which the prices are really better from there they'll take it to your awd that's amazon warehouse and distribution and from there it is fba that is auto replenishment so you need not do your inbound and send the inventory so they take care of everything so that whole line is they are taking care of everything so i just need to design order and everything the rest is taken care so isn't it cool it is so cool. It's like, of course, you're going to sell on Amazon. It's like yeah. if you can focus more time on product design and being innovative. And I love that you just jump in and try all the Amazon programs. That's super cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to use it more. Yes. Yes, I love it. Well, let's talk about the future. And we're talking about how uh, you're excited to use more of um, Amazon's uh, partnership opportunities. And what for you and your brand for AvaCraft, future plans and exciting stuff ahead for like 2024. What are you excited about? So 2024, um, I want to add more products, innovate more products, and then add to the catalog. Um, I would, so AvaCraft is somewhere like small business, so want to grow it a bigger. So I would want to join a really good Amazon mastermind and then, you know, talk to you more. <laughs> so, um, you. yeah, build a brand and grow my business. And then, you know, uh, I would love to see, um, it, it's a saying that I would love to see Avacraft brand in each, in everyone's kitchen. So, yes, that's my goal. Everybody and my has dream. a kitchen. Everyone has a yeah. kitchen. They need your products. Mm-hmm. I love that. So what do you say to aspiring entrepreneurs who want to either leave their corporate job or just take the leap to even try to sell on Amazon? I bet you get that question a lot when people hear you sell and you're a successful seller. Yeah, I would I would want to say that uh, I know it is not easy to start, but it's you still can do it. Uh, it it's it's an amazing platform. Uh, easy access to logistics and everything. You just have to focus on building your brand or, you know, designing your products, uh, your innovative mind, right? Work on that, rest of the things, how, when, what, uh, what if, just forget all that. Just work on this and then do your work, which is you can learn it. It's not a uh, rocket science. Uh, you can still do it. You can still sell it, sell on Amazon and become successful entrepreneur or successful seller. Yes, that's right. It's just putting the work in and people do get hung up on the product. It's like, well, if I don't have a problem to solve or a product and 
I mean, you still face that because you're excited to be launching even more products. It's not like you just had your your one, two, three yeah. amazing pots and pans. Yeah, if they don't, I mean, yeah, that's what they hung up on the product. I would say that start, fail fast, and then move on. Fail fast, move on, right? At least you can do that. Uh, yeah. It's just they have to believe in their um, innovative product and then uh, doing that. I'm not saying that... Uh, even I have like a tough competition. It's like I have like b bigger brands, but still I am sailing. I am surviving. I am growing. Yeah, that's a good point. You are in a competitive space and you found mm -hmm. your way to stand apart. And I want to ask you, and I touched on this at the beginning in the intro about uh, you got recommended by Jessica Alba. Like, how cool is that? Yes. Yeah. That was like a pinch me moment. I think that happened somewhere in November. I think uh, it it happened on Good Morning America. And then, you know, that time difference. So I was sleeping uh, the morning I woke up and then, you know, already the sales were like, I ran out of inventory. I then everything, I don't know what's happening. Is something happened to my Amazon account. I got so scared. And then I saw... Uh, and then someone messaged me, oh, I saw you, your brand on Good Morning. Then I went and searched. I said, oh, that's what the sales are happening. And then I was like, wow. So so my girls, I have two girls. Uh, they were like, oh, can we meet Jessica? <laughs> I said, oh, maybe. Yeah, <laughs> we'll see in future. What a wonderful surprise. <laughs> that is incredible. Yeah. That was what did you do after besides like put it on your website and tell everybody did like did yeah you do I, I yeah I was I, I told everybody yeah I put it on a website that's it yeah I I don't know we'll see if I grow my brand we'll reach out to her yeah and you yeah, didn't have to pay big bucks for an influencer right it was just your no. product is so good yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. That's what we never spent on the PR till now. It's been um, word of mouth. You should, you should say uh, Jessica Alba and then Forbes, even in um, Dallas Morning News, our story was uh, there. And then Amazon came. We started in, I told you, 2016 last quarter. And then 17, even Amazon sent a big crew uh, to our house to make a story on us because they selected um, sellers who, uh, how they take care of customers. They manually went through the messaging, you know, though we reply to customers that the mm -hmm. way we have written, the way we take care, those selected the uh, very few sellers. So in one of them was me. Uh, so they made a huge uh, story on me and they put it on the seller stories. Even that gave us a brand awareness. So it helped out. Yeah, that's cool. And it's nice to be recognized for doing great things on their platform. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I always stick to my thing. The why behind Evercraft is really strong. So just keep doing that and then brand will grow. Great advice. And let me ask you, we're talking about um, innovation and I, something struck me when you're talking about like the customer service with Amazon and the bots. How is or maybe it's not but how is ai playing into your selling story right now i have not i mean honestly i have not looked into it but um yeah i have not looked into it but just now today they announced about the ai so i think even amazon is doing some uh the chat box like a customer service kind of a ai thing when they ask what about my shipping so it's going to do everything uh taking my part away a little bit, I think it's good. And also all the listing details. So they have inserted AI. So if you tell about your product, so it's going to um, do all the bullet points using AI. So less work for us. So that's what I know about the Amazon is doing it, but I have not done much uh, thing on that. I like that because even though, yeah, the AI is there and I'd love to see Amazon's AI write my listings, there's just still so much passion for your brand and you want to write it as the voice of your brand. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because I want to mention what all, uh, because I, who, who knows the, your cookware better than you, right? Because you design, you manufacture everything. So I would write to, I would want to write 
by myself. <laughs> yes, same. Yeah, there's the balance. I love AI, but there is the balance of making sure that your passion and your brand and everything you've worked so hard to build is shining through. It is, right? So if you want to write a birthday message to your daughter, you should, I would, why would you give it to AI, right? You write what you know about your daughter. It's like that. So. Yes. Well, Asha, I know that you have the rest of the conference to get back to, but before we say goodbye, is there anything else you'd like to share with our listeners? I would, uh, yeah, I have gone through your podcast and it's amazing uh, information, wealth of knowledge. So the listeners go over all the podcasts, listen to it. If you're a beginner to Amazon selling, uh, you can still sell. You can, it's, it's an amazing platform to sell any idea, work on it, work hard. Uh, there is no way to work hard. If you go out job as well, you work harder than this, but this is your company, your brand, you're building it. So can be done. Keep faith, work hard. I don't see why it's not be done. It cannot be done. Well said. Yes. And you are living proof of all of it. And a huge thank you for joining me today during Amazon's yeah. Accelerate event. And I hope to have you back. We're both living in Texas. Yes. And until next time, stay fearless. If you're already selling on Amazon or you're looking to get started and you want my help, go to amzfearless.com to book a free strategy selling session. We can see if we can help you out. That's amzfearless.com. Talk to you soon. Thank you for listening to the Fearless Sellers, the Women of Amazon podcast. Until next time, stay fearless. Fearless.